For without safety and security, we cannot be regarded as a free nation. We can all agree on that point. Many a times throughout our history, nations who had not had that assurance of safety and security always were never regarded as free. Now let, look, let us analyze our current situation. Are we contributing towards ensuring that our learners are safe and free from all from the forms of abuse and violence? I would vehemently say, say yes. If one were to look at our schools today, the majority, majority is in such a condition where students do not bear the ability to bring weapons to school. This is a fact. Not only do students not bring weapons to school, majority of the cases, there is a minute percentage of physical violence taking place in school. And I can speak, I can bear test testament to the fact that in my school, whenever a physical confrontation takes place, the HODs and the teachers ensure that such happenings do not take place within regard to their fellow students. Now, the opposition has raised many queries. So they said, we as a community, how is it such that people are still bringing weapons to school if we as a community are trying? My response is, if you look at the entire South Africa and one single individual brings a weapon to school, can you say that the whole of South Africa brings weapons to school? Indeed you cannot. This is yet but a minute percentage. She only has quoted Motherwell. What about Malabar? What about Westring? What about the, all the other suburbs within South Africa? Also, I would like to state, in South Africa, not a single murder has taken place in school. However, let's look at developed countries like the USA. In the USA alone, 21 students have been brutally murdered in their school. This has not happened in South Africa. How is this possible? If we are not trying as a community, how is, how is it possible? This basically refutes the whole idea of the opposition when they say we are not trying as a community. Also, what the community has stated is that why are teachers leaving? That is not a valid excuse. That is mere opinion. Why can she not? Why can the oppo opposition not state facts stating the percentage of teachers leaving due to violence? It is a mere opinion. And also, she state, uh, the opinion stated within regards to various protests taking place at school. I can bear testimony to the fact that in our school. Many protesters came and threatened with violence. However, not a single student was hurt due to the security within our school. They prevented all forms of violence and they prevented every single pro any, they prevented all protesters from enter entering school premises. Also, the police were also what so are the like granted? Are there not people who are in our community who sell drugs? Indeed. That is true. That is a fact. However, this is yet a minute percentage. And however, the topic that we are speaking on for nothing to do with drugs. The topic is related to weaponry in school, not drugs. However, so I do not understand the sense in that point. Continuing to what? Now, as I was saying. Granted. So those people who sell drugs in our community, your first speaker said that. People in our community try their best to, to avoid these weapons getting into our, into our schools. People who sell drugs will sell to our to, to our sellers and we will buy those drugs. And our sellers, drugs do what do drugs what do you understand about drugs? What do drugs do in your mind? First of all, the opposition has once again swayed off topic by speaking of drugs. The specific topic of this debate is within regards to weaponry, so I shan't engage in answering that question. I shall proceed with my argument. Now, secure schools have indeed taken measures to ensure the safety of learners. Why is there security guard within schools? Why is there regular inspections taking place within schools to ensure that learners are in a safe environment? This is, this is testament to the fact that we are trying. Of course, as, as a community, we do not be perfect. We will never be able to stop this menace in society. However, we can try our utmost best, and I do believe You're that right we are. Granted? I would like to know, sir, uh, what are these organizations that you and your teammates are talking about are being uh, created by the community to prevent uh, these current issues of children carrying guns and knives at schools? For example, within our community, I I can, in our community, there exists 
such organization called the Malaba Patrol. They have been extremely efficient in reducing the crime rate within, within our community and schools also. And our school has a, a security system. There's many security guards, toilets are monitored, there's fences around, there's even cameras in the school. This is, this is portraying that our school is trying their best to reduce this menace. So the community, it will be unfair to say the community is not trying to stop this issue. Indeed, we are. We are trying our utmost best, but we cannot, we cannot ascertain as to whether the problem will be stopped completely. That is not what the debate is about. The deba debate is about whether we are trying as a community. And indeed, I shall vehemently declare that us, we as a community, have tried our utmost best to ensure that all schools and all communities free from all forms of weaponry and physical violence. I thank you.